Hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome back to another episode of Neon Sundown. So, we actually have some things to get in the store. So, I'm going to grab two piercing. Uh, we're going to get a module that lets me get more of it, but then I'm going to buy, like, just a silly amount of EXP range. Uh, just because it's stupid good. Maybe some regen, but I can get a perk for that. Uh, I don't actually know if I care about the rest of these that much. It's really those two. Uh, okay, I might get, get some movement speed, because fast chonk sounds kind of fun. Yeah, I don't know about a lot of these, but just like a ton of piercing seems really solid. Range could be kind of neat, but like most of these are small bonuses. Piercing, though, that's got some potential. So, uh, but, 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 what are we doing? We are doing Dynamo, which is arena compa uh, comprised of armored enemies. Knock down the shielders and avoid fire from the tanks. Okay, so they're actually going to be shooting at me. Um... I feel like Speedster is the way to go, just because Speedster can get as good as Chonko with enough upgrades, whereas Chonko has trouble getting f fast enough to do it. Let's grab a pair of Pierce. Oh, it won't let me... St uh, you can't do duplicates. Shoot. Uh, it's fair. Okay, I don't know if I need the speed. I need the damage. So let's start with that. So that gives me a very, very small amount of regen. Piercing, uh, a little bit more damage. This should work or I'm dead. Oh boy. How do I fight these things? I don't know how to fight a shield shielded foe. Oh, break the shields. Fair enough. Okay, scythe, no. Split shot, yes. Okay, let's grab what we can. Explosives, EXP gain. Split shot, bullet spread, EXP gain. At least I don't take damage in these. Range. Ooh, useful. But not something I care about at the moment. Okay, more EXP gain. I really want to give... just a bunch of EXP gain a shot just to see what happens. Split shot? No, let's go for some range. Okay. More EXP gain? No. Split shot? Yes. Because cooldown we can mess with. Uh, because unlike, uh... Let's see. No, I don't care about bullet spread. Unlike, uh... Uh, weapon damage and EXP gain, um... It's actually better to get cooldown reduction when you have a higher cooldown rather than a uh, low cooldown. Sure, it feels more painful uh, whenever you raise your cooldown, but uh, it works. Do I want to grab explosives? You know what? I'll grab it. Because I like the uh, purple explosions anyway. Oh, they're shooting at me. But this is why I got the... Grabbed the... Uh, uh, quite a lot of things, really. Grab the regen. Do I... I don't know. Torpedoes. I don't want to mess with my stats too much. Multi-shot is good. Oh. Tanks are actually firing at me. Of course. Okay, another split shot. I just... I mean, I'll do it. It is definitely harming my attack speed, though. And the problem is, I don't have the base damage to lose too much of this. Okay, on the plus side, I can see where they're shooting, so it's not so bad. But yeah, I don't I don't do enough damage because I one of the big issues is the more cards you unlock, the uh the more your deck is gonna get bloated with random stuff that you might not need. So in this case I'm getting tons of regen and torpedoes and some other things that I'm not really investing towards. And that's a bit of a nuisance. Because what I want to do is none of these. Just get torpedoes, I guess. Gosh. Okay. I mean, it'll be fine. Just kill the shields. Ow. Eat some bullets. 
I don't know how long I have to be on this map. I'm definitely appreciating being a speed machine, though. Yeah, I just, I really wish I could say no to some of these. Because my damage is now less than one. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, considering how generally fast I attack and how many bullets I'm I'm spitting out into the environment. Ow. Freaking Dreadnought hurts, man. But yeah. Ow. Because my re... Damn it. My regen ain't enough. <sighs> grab an evasion. Let's grab a safeguard. Watch me have lost all of them. So dynamo. We at least have the piercing bullets, but we need to go f seven and a half minutes on this to get further. Okay, power modules. At least I can get more of what I need. So let's up our damage. Got the EXP range. I'm going to go for those, because the regen isn't that helpful at the moment. I could go for Chonko with this, is the one other consideration. Um, I wouldn't be able to dodge bullets very well, though. I'd certainly do a lot of damage, though. But I don't... I don't think we have anything that increases movement speed yet. We kind of do. Okay, let's do it. Chonko with a 20% 20, 20 movement speed bonus. I really wish I could stack multiple of these. Then I'll just give him the raw damage. Okay. Well, actually, yeah, that 20% that movement speed bonus turns Chonko from kind of inconvenient to actually fairly decent. Get the EXP gain. And yeah, because piercing, uh, we have a way better shot here. Going EXP gain. Shurikens, explosives. Uh, multi shot. Let's go multi shot. Split shot. Fortunately, I'm a little limited on what I can do for a little while. Hopefully, we'll get what we need. Regen or safeguard. Might as well go regen. Let's see, more piercing? I'll grab piercing. Because that means they'll just shred through large groups. Uh, let's see. More range, more split shot. Let's keep going piercing. Because the nice part is when they run out of lifetime, they still, uh, they still do the split. So I can pierce through large quantities of enemies. Then they split and come back for more. Uh, I'll go for explosives. I don't even know what that does. Okay, piercing and explosive are, uh, tragically, uh, a one or the other. I, okay. I don't know how to feel about that one. In that case, I feel like picking up one should prevent you from getting the other. Because, yeah. If a perk specifically makes it so like, hey, piercing is no longer, no longer does anything, then it's just kind of like, eh. What it should do is probably after it pierces, then it explodes. And so that way, if you have too much pierce, then the explosive isn't useful. But you can kind of time it just right. Yeah, I also haven't seen any, like, damage upgrades go by in recent memory. And, like, that's that's kind of the problem uh, I'm looking at. There's a lot of really neat ideas here, but I'm... I'm... Uh, let's see. Hmm. Wanna go for another split shot? Problem is I need the cooldown reduction. Oh, that just straight up killed the shield generator. Too much damage to the shields and they just die. That's kind of handy. Okay, bullet spread, range, piercing. The problem is at this point, piercing does me no good. It hurts. 
just a little. All right, Dreadnought. Nope, you're not Dreadnought. That's Dreadnought. Okay. Well, at least we do a ton of damage. I don't want to get another multi-shot. Uh... Yeah, I just have to kill you. At least... At least Chonko does, like, boatloads of damage. So I can kind of just burn through large groups. Uh, but, 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 range, shurikens. I'm actually wondering if uh, the damage and cooldown reduction are banned cards for this level. As we have yet to see them. I'm pretty sure it's just bad, bad luck. Because, yeah, the unfortunate part is I kind of need those. Uh, those are, I would argue, like, major linchpin cards. I guess I'll start investing in Neon Scythe. There we go. Let's see. I'm just going to kind of... Chill. I mean, at this point, we've made it further. The problem is I need to make it seven and a half minutes to get what I'm looking for. Please, for the love of biscuits, give me... Nope. Interesting that we actually have the Mine Layer enemy. That is... That is just... Available to fight here. Ah, uh, let's see. Regen, Split Shot, Shurikens. Regen. Let's see. But the mines this time around are not invincible. It's appreciated. You can actually you can actually break them, shoot your way through. Oh, if I do this again, we're not picking up explosive. It is such such an albatross. Like split shot is good. Piercing and split shot is amazing. Wait, what the hell? Uh. Well, I'd like EXP game, but I. Uh, no, I need it. EXP game. What the hell? Um. Well, that was a thing. I I think I can do that again. I gotta double check. Few arenas and stages, blacklisted cards, yep, there they are. That's why they wouldn't show up. Well, starting card level 3 is movement speed. I think Chonko is the way to do it then. Because if you can't gain any more damage, then you're kind of stuck with it. Uh, let's see. So I can keep Pierce range, which isn't that helpful. These two, and movement speed. Oh, uh, let's go for that. All right, let's try that again. Pierce, no explosion. I can totally, I can totally get further. That last section there looked a little, little bit dicey, but I think I can make it work. Uh, we might also want to start investing in shurikens. So I'll have no choice but to pick up. Uh. Split shot? Pro well, actually, do I? I don't know. Multi shot is worth it. Split shot? Question mark. No, it's probably worth it. There's a couple of different things that might be really amazing. I don't want that. And yeah, explosives is just going to be bad news across the board for me. Okay. Keep going, EXP game. Because the more I can stack that, the better. Okay, range? No, let's go shurikens. Because I, I wonder if one of the other means of getting around my problems is just by having a bunch of shurikens. Uh, yeah, no, I should, I should at least have like two or three in split shot. Cooldown problems with side. And multi-shot? Yeah. 
Like not too much. I don't want to. I don't want to hamper my damage. Overwhelmingly. Uh, let's see. Let's go for safeguard. It's not amazing for what I'm trying to do here, but it's still good. Okay, but yeah, let's let's just start leveling Shuriken. The only immediate problem with Shuriken is it doesn't actually. Uh, as far as I know, it doesn't. It's not affected by like multi shot or anything like that. Okay. Any other foes? No, it's like weirdly quiet at the moment. I guess I should probably stop shooting randomly because there's a very real possibility I'm going to kill an enemy off screen. And I don't actually want to do that. Okay, there's a tank here. Range, bullet spread, more shurikens. I'm just going to invest hard into shurikens. If I can't increase my damage or my fire rate, then I'm going to make up for it in ninja. Uh, probably going to get hit by that. Uh, I have no choice. Nope. Skipped it just slightly. There we go. I want to get up to the five minute mark. Ideally, I want to get up to the seven minute mark. Unlocking a new ship would be lovely. Just because, I mean, Chonko adds just a whole new dimension to everything. Okay, piercing, regen, EXP gain. Okay. Thank everything for maximum HP and movement speed. There we go. All right. In a good spot. Increased damage by three. Scythe would also be interesting, but yeah, let's let's just focus hard on, on the shurikens at the moment. There we go. And it's working. Range, safeguard, or torpedoes? Go safeguard. I, torpedoes might actually be worth it as well. Because the more points I put into shuriken, the more I'm like, oh yeah, they're actually maybe not terrible. I wish they were affected by at least some of my perks. Like maybe every five levels you get into explosives. Let's see. The, uh, you get like a small perk for shurikens or something or... I don't know, I still feel like some kind of weird branching de decisions where it's like, yeah, do you want your, uh, do you want your perks to affect your, your, like, bonus weapons? Or should they affect your main weapons more or something like that? Or little choices like that add a lot of identity to a game. Uh, range? No. I actually don't want my range to be too good. Because if my range gets too good, let's see, then my bullets don't split where I need them to. Okay, bullet spread, torpedoes, piercing. Let's keep investing in piercing, that's the other one. Because we're going to have to be chewing through large quantities. Because despite the fact that this is supposed to be the level of the tanky enemies, it's uh, just kind of dense. Safe torpedoes are more EXP gain. Yeah, my goal here is to just get as much EXP gain as I can. Actually, what the hell? Never mind. I don't. I just don't think I. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh. Scythe. I'm dead. I don't think I'm supposed to beat phase five. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a shame too, because it's... Ah, uh, yeah, I want those things, but alas. No dice. I don't know. Let's do the abyss. Um, do we want to do the abyss with speed chunk? Because speed chunk actually has, like, chops. Go for the range. Already got that. Uh, dodge rate? Sure. 
A little bit of pierce, the lifesteal if it even works, some extra movement speed, nothing is banned, start with nothing, okay. Oh, I am definitely slower though. But I'm not as slow. I don't know, we'll see. I have missed you. Go for the damage. Okay, grab damage and EXP gain whenever you can because they scale. And you want you want to get them whenever your values are the highest. Overclock is less useful. I mean, it is useful, but I'm pretty sure uh, it doesn't or it doesn't apply retroactively or no, that's not the way I want to put it. I don't know. Effectively, it only applies to the current value. It's not like uh, a cumulative stacking 10% uh, attack speed increase. It just reduces whatever your current attack speed by 10%. Now, let's grab that one. Bit of a pain. But, I mean, it effectively doubles my DPS at a very slight penalty. Just hopefully I can get enough infection that I can counteract it. Okay. Well, I will... I will just kind of chew through these guys, and we'll see if I can get up to 10 minutes. Because I want to get that new perk. I might want to look into getting a little bit of split shot here. There we go. Range infliction, yeah. Yeah, notice it's only a plus uh, 1.47 because I picked up the multi-shot. It, if you wanted to be really aggressive about making it work, you could skip stuff like multi-shot, focus hard. I think, in retrospect though, this is also a percentage, which is kind of for better or worse. Because that means the higher your your attack damage, the more that's going to be painful. I don't really know how to balance around it. Let's grab some split shot because it's going to it's going to carry. And yeah, the higher my attack speed or the slower my attack speed, the more the cooldown is going to have like a notable effect. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that life steal just does not actually do a thing. Grab a bit of regen. Because boy, 5% uh 5% of an enemy's health back probably isn't that much. But it still feels like it would be a lot more than this. I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Gotta gotta give credit where credit is due. Piercing is satisfying to watch. There we go. And yeah, because piercing has no immediate negatives. You can just stack it a bunch and shoot through an entire crew. And just, yeah, watch the fireworks. Okay, let's just scoot over here. Okay, those guys are a little, little chunky. Keep just investing in attack damage for the time being. Okay, because yeah, I want to, I want to be able to one shot most big suckers. We are gonna have to worry about the little guys, uh, actually pretty badly, because they start showing up after eh, sometime around now. I might, I'm actually gonna get a neon scythe, just for that exact purpose, because it should be able to do tons of damage to just burn through them. There we go. Is there a way I can check, like, statistics? No, it doesn't look like it. I was really hoping I could actually, uh, like, see my stats for various items. How much damage it does, and so on and so forth. There we go. Just delete them from the field. Got that EXP. Because I think each of these is worth vaguely two. Where that scythe is just kind of okay.
Okay. But here's the thing. It's fine. Okay. Because I have... I don't have much for health regen. Ow. Big chunkers hurt too. There we go. Okay, not nearly as painful as last time. Still hurt, but could be worse. I really wish EXP, instead of winking out of existence, would crystallize and turn into... Or, you know, if it's off camera, it's like, okay, you know, you left 100 EXP behind. And instead of just having all those entities sitting around, it crystallizes down into just one overclock. Perfect. Okay. And there's a dreadnought. Okay. No more dreadnought. Dreadnought be spooky, but not too much. And, oh, I did break it. I'm a little curious about if I just wasn't able to do enough damage to them previously. And that's why I couldn't pick them up. It's possible. Okay, there we go. Just waiting for more foes to show up. The boss phase. What boss? Let's keep grabbing that. Oh. There's a whole half EXP. Half a point of EXP. Per upgrade now? Like, it's only going to go up. I just have to live long enough to make it obscene. There we go. So far, so good. Please give me more foes. I wish to fight. Namely, because I also need some extra survivability. Yep, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Yeah, so I'm able to break the... Um, I'm able to break the crystals now, so I, I bet I just wasn't able to do enough damage. Or something. You know, maybe they have, like, an intrinsic armor value. Or who knows what. Safer guard. Let's see. Yeah, a bunch of points in regen might also be a good idea. We'll see what I'm limited by. Ooh. Uh, overclock or a split shot? Split shot. The one problem with the piercing is that the split shots come from elsewhere, so they're not quite as practical when I'm surrounded. But they're very good for clearing enemies out further away. There we go. Okay, then there's just these guys. Which, heck if I know if I'm going to make it out of this. The scythe is certainly handy. Ultrashot explosives are overclock. Okay. I gotta remember, I do have a dash, too. This is not a very good one. Okay, they are just relentless, aren't they? Really, also do not want me to level up here. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, that was the last of them. Well, this isn't helpful. Nope, that was not the last of them. There's plenty. Grab this. I might not survive just due to sheer number of speed goons. Nope. Okay, we're good. The speed goons have chilled out for a little while. Okay. Range bullet speed or... Or bullet spread. Or overclock. Definitely overclock. We need to... I mean, at this point, I'd say just attack speed and damage. And regen. No more multi-shot, no more... I like multi-shot, maybe. 
Because as long as I can one-shot those guys, it's not as much of a problem. But yeah, let's get my attack speed down. If I can go full bullet hose, it's going to be worth it. This is going to take a while. There we go. Yeah, it seems like going full bullet hose is going to be the best way that I can possibly deal with the, uh, the little dudes. Like spread, maybe. Maybe also, like, mass levels in shuriken, but even then, I I sincerely doubt that. And also just investing really hard into life's, uh, like, health regen. Because it's super obvious that the life seal just is not functional. Or... Every enemy just has, like, less than one HP, so I'm stealing nothing. So I have to kill literally thousands to get any amount of HP back. Which actually, I mean, it is possible. Let's just invest more into Vanguard, too. Ooh. Even with those EXP perks, uh... We are not leveling very fast. But then again, I only need to make it up to 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, nothing matters. Because if I can get that, then we're golden. Okay, let's let's just go Vanguard. Kind of tragic to waste a level up on a Vanguard, but hey, here we are. I'm not sure about the leveling speed on this game. Mainly just due to, it makes a lot of sense if everything was incremental. So Vanguard, you gained 5 HP plus 10% max HP. You know, kind of both of them or something like that. But we only level up like maybe once every two minutes once you get up this far. Then something like Vanguard with a plus 5 HP bonus is just not much. It also is not that much for this character. A, 10 minutes. You know, it's it's so much more impactful for something that only has 15 HP as opposed to 50. And so I was thinking that extra 10% bonus, because that way it scales, but also benefits uh, the bigger guys too. On the plus side, I'm getting plenty of these perk crystals now. So I can have a full complement for the next couple rounds. Holy moly, that's a lot. Okay, split shot. Now let's just go scythe. Because, yeah, if I can get that to rotate faster, that might also keep the goons off. I don't know, need more piercing at this point. I'm well set in that regard. So now it's just a matter of punching through and hoping for the best. I mean, I'm already 10 minutes in. What's. What more is there to do? Just wait for death, really. Uh, let's invest in torpedoes. I don't know if I can reduce the cooldown on them. There we go. Okay. I think I will have to wait for this to get some more updates, though. As much as I enjoy this, uh, there's a very limited number of builds that you can even go for, and it doesn't really feel like there's builds. I love the statistic increases, but very few of them actually add character to a run. I'm mostly just choosing between explosives or piercing. And maybe a couple other bits. Do I want to get another multi-shot? Yes, I probably should have gotten another in regen. But I'm still chewing through these big dudes like nobody's business. There's a lot of them. They're fast. I don't know. I think the triple shot was 100% the right choice. And I also think pier piercing is, like, stupid good. I think if... Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, that's why I'm not healing at all. My region is 0.1. Maybe... Maybe the life steal is working. It's just... These guys really just don't have HP. But no, if they have 10 HP, then even 5% would be half a point of an H... Uh, half a point of HP. Cripes. I'm leveling really fast, if only by merit of the fact that there's so many enemies just piling on, on me. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Game can't handle it. 
Game is actually breaking a little. Uh, do I get a split shot? Yeah. Reduces my fire rate, but helps me clear more or not. Or, oh god, slideshow, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's fine. It's a neat game. It definitely needs some work. But, it's super promising, and I think... I think what it needs is a... Uh, is there a way I can see the cards? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, well, we can take a look at the roadmap at the very least. Okay, so March, new new stat, weapon, and primary cards. New arenas, Coliseum and Danger Zone. Balance changes. Stage extensions on Wasteland. Uh, new card type ability. Chips and modules. Card type companion. Extraction and new companion cards. And Neon Sundown, new, new arena. Neat. Um, I feel like the shurikens and the... Torpedoes, they should be a separate thing. Uh, that those should not be like the way I see it. There's two different types of cards: base statistics increases, which are pretty solid. Uh, some have pluses and minuses. Some are just outright positives. Uh, and then you have gear upgrades, like the torpedoes, the shurikens, and is that just it? I think that might just be it. But that. Those don't really jive together as well because they don't they don't share an upgrade pool. They're not affected by each other, and it's kind of inconvenient to see like oh, I don't want more shurikens because nothing I none of my other upgrades help it. Now a cool way to do it would be to actually have all of the cards, like card upgrades, affect those, and I think they should. So the less cooldown you have, the more missiles you fire. The more damage you do, the bigger and d blastier the missiles are. The more points and explosive you have the bigger the torpedo explosions are going to be. Um, I think piercing should affect them and just like all sorts of stuff, just, just because. It's kind of weird to have them separated out. But I almost kind of wish that there was a set number of equipment cards. Let's say maybe you can only equip four onto your ship. Uh, and you get them every five levels. So level five, you get a choice between... You know, so levels one through four are just base statistics. So health regen, EXP gain, so on and so forth. And then level five, you get your special one or something to that extent. It's like, okay, I'm gonna throw shurikens into the mix because I really wanna go for a shuriken spitter build because I already have massive attack speed uh, from being, you know, the, the speed ship. Throwing the shuriken, now I'm throwing shurikens on top of everything or torpedoes, large quantities of torpedoes, but they don't do a whole lot of damage. They're just, you know, little micro missiles. Uh, and then I'm like, okay, well, level 10 comes around and what if it evolved? So every five levels, that one piece of gear evolves or you can get a new piece of gear or something. I, I don't know, I'm spitballing here. It's just mainly, I want the runs to feel like they have more identity than just stack more of X. Because I've been playing a lot of uh, Risk of Rain lately and it suffers a little bit from the lack of truly unique upgrades that like make a run feel different most of them are just kind of like i mean yeah it adds an extra like crit uh if you crit you attack faster and it's like okay it's nice but it's if you boil it down it's just attack speed it just has some extra steps in there um whereas conversely i would say this game with split shot piercing and explosives those are build changing at least to some degree they're easier to get your hands on but when you pick explosive you really have to kind of Keep in mind how explosive works. The drawback is a little tough, and you can no longer pick piercing, but you might also want to pick a bu bunch of split shot because they tend to internally synergize. Being able to make those decisions and have them actually count for something then work towards something interesting uh, is, I, I think, kind of imperative if you want to make a good roguelike nowadays, especially with this immediate formula. So the reason why Vampire Survivors uh, did so well is because you were hard-locked to X amount of items, and you had to choose, okay, I want to go for these items. They all kind of have a general synergy. So you, you know, there were very overt projectile builds and AOE builds and kind of a, a defensive perimeter build if you want to go that direction. And you had to make very intentional choices there because you were limited to the ones that you could get. And then once you had the full build, then the game was just like, all right, and now here's money. Um, whereas conversely, Nova Drift has no such limits. However, every single upgrade, uh, for the most part, has an identity many of which are just statistics upgrades, but lead to something greater, namely the uh, the the combo perks, effectively. 
So, oh shoot, it's been a while since I've last played, but the one, you know, whenever you take damage, your next attack gets bigger, and so you can sit there charging while you're getting hit, and eventually you just fire off a vortex that just destroys the whole screen. There's a personality and a build to that, and I think that's really important to keep in mind, just when it comes to how to design around perks. You know, the just base statistics upgrades are real fun, especially if they have incremental scaling or compound scaling, uh, like the damage and the EXP do. Uh, but I feel like it's one of those that you have to be, you have to have more than just that. But what, I, what I've seen so far is really solid and I can't wait to play more. Uh, so I should mention that Neon Sundown is out now on Steam and I think it's fantastic. I think you guys should check it out. And I think you should get involved in the Discord if you're interested, because uh, I think there's a... I mean, I, I know the developer, uh, someone. He, he was working on a game called Vectorio. I guess in parallel to this, probably got very inspired by, by Vampire Survivors and sidestepped to make this, at least in the meantime, and I can't blame him. And also, you know, gives him a chance to work on one project or the other when he feels like, you know, working on one or both. Uh, but he is very receptive to feedback, and his games get tremendously better over time, uh, as shown by how Vectorio is developed. So, yeah, if you want to have a voice and you want to help this game improve, check out the Discord or check out the Reddit. They're both here. I'll leave links at least to the Discord in the description below, but if you pick up the game, you can just go through there. But with all that said, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.